A big challenge for President Biden tonight is convincing Americans to take foreign policy seriously. Just today, we got another huge wake-up call. An espionage probe found that communications devices on Chinese-made cargo cranes at U.S. ports might be reporting back to China. Dmitry Alperovitch is here, former special advisor to the Department of Defense, also out with a new book in May, World on the Brink, How America Can Beat China in the Race for the 21st Century. It's good to see you, Dmitry. Thank you. Normally have you here you to too. talk about Russia and Ukraine, now China. Um, obviously, the, the fear with these cranes, right, is that somehow China can control them, they can have them run into each other, there's a conflict in Taiwan, they destroy our parts, on and on and on. If there are hidden Trojan horses and cargo cranes at our major ports made by the Chinese, where else are they? Well, these cranes are manufactured first and foremost by state-owned Chinese companies. So um, obviously China has enormous control over its private sector. It doesn't need to have that level of control with this company because it literally owns it completely. And it manufactures over 75% of these container cranes that are used in ports all over the world, um, not just in the United States. So it's a huge concern. I've actually been working on this issue for a couple of years. So, so a, hold on, just, a, just, a, just, just to stop you. You say it's a huge concern. Why? Well, a couple of things. One, there have been communication devices, as you said, that have been found on these cranes. They can be remotely controlled. First of all, for intelligence collection purposes, you can use it to figure out what is going on in a port. And then you, you might have the ability to actually destroy the, that infrastructure and prevent logistics, from, for example, from flowing into the Indo-Pacific if there's some sort of conflict with China. All right, so if they've done it to cranes, what else have they done it to? Well, of course, there's huge concerns around a number of these uh, huge companies, either private companies or state-owned enterprises in China. Huawei is one that we've been talking about for 15 years. Their telecommunications equipment is in most uh, telecommunications infrastructure around the world, not in America, thankfully. Um, there's some in America in regional players, but not in major carriers. Uh, but that gives them another uh, leverage point in terms of ability to wiretap okay. communications, but also to destroy them in the case of conflict. And of course, our modern societies are running off communications. Look, you also think about the Chinese ability and the warning from the FBI to hack into our domestic infrastructure, TikTok. Um, is another one people have been talking about. You, among others, who are very smart, who have deep knowledge of what the Chinese are able to do, have literally been shouting from the rooftops for 15 years about this, from everything from Huawei to the guys DGI who makes drones to the cranes to uh, other, to, you know, to critical infrastructure, on and on and on and on. And yet, nobody seems to care or listen or change. Why is that? Well, I think things are changing. You look at this bill that Congressman Gallagher has introduced in the House of Representatives to try to ban TikTok from American phones. That's progress. U.S. government is looking to replace all of these uh, Z ZPMC cranes that we have in this country to prevent China from having this control. We're pushing back on Huawei. Obviously, we're preventing them from having infrastructure, mostly here domestically. We're trying to get our allies to do the same. So we're finally waking up to the threat. We're trying to act. Is it but too we're late? Behind. I don't know that we are too late. We have some years, I think, before China would be ready to move on Taiwan, but we have to up, up our game and we have to move much quicker. All right, Dimitri, thank you very much as always. Um, you've proven prophetic, uh, whether it be about uh, the invasion of Ukraine and now about China as well. So uh, your commentary and thoughts are worth listening to. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.